Hi, I'm John Lincoln with Ignite Visibility, and today I want to talk to you about heat maps, content analytics, and how you can use pop-ups to get more conversions out of your website. Okay, so heat maps are something that's been used in digital marketing for a really long time. And some of the best tools out there are Hotjar, uh, Sumo Me, and Crazy Egg. And basically what it allows you to do is see where the user is focusing on the page. And heat maps can give you a really good idea of where the user has their main intent and where they're focusing. And if that doesn't align with where you want them to focus, that can be something that really helps you modify the page so that perhaps you want to put a different image in a different place, a button in a different place. You want to change the messaging on the, the page so that you can get more conversions out of it. Now, content analytics are a little bit different than heat maps, and what they show is where the user actually clicked on the page. And in many cases, that can be a bit more valuable than heat maps. Content analytics will show you if somebody's clicking on something over and over and over, or if multiple people are, and you might know that that's not even a button. And, and that can give you an idea that, oh, maybe I should make that linkable, or maybe I should turn that into a button. It can also show you if somebody is clicking on something far too many times that they shouldn't be clicking on, like a help button or something like that. So that can help you modify the page quite a bit. Google Analytics also has something that's a little bit different than heat maps and content analytics that's called in-page analytics. Now this is a really cool tool that allows you to see the exact click-through rates on every single link on your web page. And if you know the click-through rates on every single link on your web page and how many times people are clicking on it, then you know basically what the most powerful and important links are on that page and which ones the users are using the most and which ones they're using the least. So with three tools like this, you can make some pretty good distinctions between different elements on your page and figure out how you wanna reorganize a page to make it more successful. So I strongly recommend that you look at these three different ways of analyzing a web page so that you can reformat it and get more conversion. Now the analytics tools don't stop there and Google Analytics offers a world of information at your fingertips. Things like the pages that are your top landing pages on the site. You wanna look at those and understand what the conversion rates are on them. What are the bounce rates on them? What are the, the times, the amount of time that people are spending on those pages? What are the top exit pages on the site? figure out why people are exiting those pages. And, and you know, these type of things can be really, really telling. And what you're gonna realize more about when you start to really understand your customer's journey through the website is that a lot of people are leaving that you probably could be capturing. A lot of people aren't using the website how you want them to use it. The more time that you spend looking at your data and analytics, the more that you're gonna realize that you can make simple tweaks in order to improve that. So that might be things on the page, but it also might be having other elements appear on the page. Some of those things might be a pop-up that fires after five seconds, or a pop-up that fires when somebody tries to leave the website. Perhaps a pop-up that shows up when somebody scrolls down the page 15%, or maybe a banner that shows at the top to users the first time that they visit the site. So when you look at your top landing pages and your top exit pages, you wanna understand why is that customer converting or why are they not converting? And there's a lot of great tools out there, some of them being Sumo Me or Optin Monster, that will allow you to fire pop-ups and not only fire them, but also split test them to see which are gonna be the most successful at converting your customers. So I highly recommend that you look at your top landing pages, your top exit pages, look at your funnel, try to understand why people are dropping off, and then serve these different types of elements to them so that you can convert more users. Okay, so that's it for pop-ups today. That's it for in-content analytics. That's it for uh, heat maps. And that's it for in-page analytics. Th these are some things that, that really, if you take the time, you understand the customer journey, you understand where are the different places that they're coming from, the different sources and mediums. How are they coming into your website? What are they doing once they hit your website? where are they leaving, what are the main pain points, then you are going to be able to 
better refine their journey and then push them into other areas with some of these third-party methods so that you can get more conversions. And I've done this with so many clients, a couple little tweaks can raise your revenue significantly as well as your conversion rates. Have a great day.